Well, a Connecticut basketball star made quite the impression in Las Vegas last week, and her team is celebrating her success now. Amber Cox, the vice president of the Connecticut Sun, is here to tell us how the team is celebrating Shakina Strickland's victory in the WNBA's annual three-point contest. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thank it's you for being here. Unbelievable weekend in Las Vegas. We had a couple of all-stars in John Quill Jones and Alyssa Thomas, but Shakina really stole the show. Friday night they had the skills challenge, and she won the three-point shootout. And we have it, so let's take a oh, look. Oh, yeah, it's great. All right, so there she goes. Yeah. And she, you know, you got to hit the money ball, so she really got going there. I can't see the basket, but there I'm assuming. Go. They're all going in. All, she got that's them all, all in. you need to know. They're all, all that's going amazing. in. They're Every all, single one of them. Every single one. Oh, my goodness. But she had the highest score, and she beat out. Uh, so this was in Las Vegas, and it came down to her and one of the players from the Las Vegas Aces, and she beat her. So she beat the hometown favorite, which was fun as well. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, you know, just for people who aren't so sure how amazing that is, I mean, one of our producers was like, what does it take to get a three-point? you got to be much farther back. Yes. I mean, even for a professional basketball, it's a hard shot. It right? is a hard shot. Yeah, it's a hard shot. And, you know, that contest is tough because you're going from rack to rack to rack. And by the time you get to the last two racks, you know, you're really tired. Yeah. And you're <laughs> oh, shooting yeah, yeah. all these balls. So Strick is super strong. And we really felt like that was going to, you know, I'm like over there coaching her up, even though I'm not the coach. And when she got to those last two racks she almost hit all those shots so it was awesome to see she's sort of one of our unheralded stars she's a starter yeah. for us been with us for a long time and doesn't get a ton of the recognition that some of the other players so it was wonderful to see her celebrate it there are some players in games who say the three-pointer is a little bit easier than being closer because you're you, you you tend not to have defenders right on you right sometimes yeah, yeah. and especially if your teammates you are setting screens for you and yeah. if you're tall you know these players continue to get more and more talented our 6'6 six, six center John Quell Jones, for example, is one of our best three-pointer shooting um, MVP candidate, a lot like Kevin Durant for those NBA fans yeah. out there. So We've got some video of John Quell Jones, and she is, you think, a contender to be the MVP for the league? Absolutely. Um, you know, really special talent in her fourth year for us, um, has had a couple of great seasons, but is really leading the way and stepping up in huge fashion. And again, six foot six with wow. incredible skills to shoot the ball inside and out, block shots, rebounds. So. Does she have tall parents? How does it happen? Six, she does. She's six. from the Bahamas, um, good friends with Buddy Heald, plays in the NBA. So John Quell is a huge star in the islands, um, and it's just wonderful to see her, again, emerging as sort of one of these marquee stars in the league. And you're having a good season. We are. We're in first place at the halfway point. We've got six home games left, um, about, you know, 15 left overall, so we're on the road quite a bit second half. But just encourage people to get out. You know, we've got a great fan base, probably one of the best in the WNBA, being the women's basketball capital of the world well, that we true. are. Um, that definitely carries over to us. So it's a great atmosphere, a lot of fun. If people are getting tired of the heat, it's a good, good opportunity to come inside and obviously a ton of things to do at Mohegan Sun around the game. Yeah, so the games are still going on, and you can go to Mohegan, and you can uh, see a game, do some other things. Do you have to have a lot of notice? or? No, nope. you can walk up. We seat about 9,000. We average you know, about 7,500 people. So for the most part, at least right now, until people start really jumping on that bandwagon, we get in the playoffs. Uh, you can walk up and buy a ticket, but encourage people to do that in advance. We've got some special packages out there that people can purchase that'll save you on some some fees. But you know, free parking at Mohegan Sun always. You can come and eat and gamble and do all the things around the games. Um, it's just you know, it's an awesome experience overall. We have some details on that yeah, special ticket Yeah, we're going to tell you about it a little bit because you get a special meeting too. But let me just ask you before I give these secret details because you can meet one of the stars. Um, When's the next game? Tonight. We play the Phoenix Mercury uh, at 7 o'clock. Uh, and then we're on the road for a few weeks. And we come back the 16th and 18th for our Rock the Pink, which are our breast health awareness games. Yeah. Good enough. Well, we yeah. have details on that. There's a special ticket offer right now in honor of Shakina Strickland winning the three-point contest. Connecticut Sun is offering what they're calling the Strick 3 Pick 3. That's right. That gets you tickets to three games. And you get to meet Shakina in person. And to buy tickets to the remaining home games this season, including the Wear Pink game, all you have to do is visit Connecticut Sun. Dot com. Yeah, great family event. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thanks for having me. Thanks, I appreciate Emma. it.